Hello. Today I'm going to show you my equipment number three, Open Mind Skeptics Station number three. Uh, it's mainly based on a fast computer and it has a Geiger counter. It has a magnometer, uh, X, Y, and Z, uh, of course. It's really detailed. If it detects anything, um, of course, it's uh, in my config, uh, a small deviation in the magnetic field in any axis. It will record with like a short fingerprints in 50 hertz, um, so we can get kind of feeling what that field is, if it is electrical, man-made, or uh, natural, stable, or something like that. Um, uh, it's set now for uh, gathering um, the long-term data once per minute, and if something happens, okay, 50 hertz, 50 times per second. Um, it also um, measure the voltage of these two batteries. It's one a nickel metal hybrid uh, rechargeable battery, and a usual battery. Uh, why we do that is because many paranormal places they often report that talk is st stop working phone stop working and behaves unnaturally so we measure this as well and we have got some interesting results at Martebu Gotland uh, when the light appeared uh, we actually have this strange anomaly uh, where the background the gamma and beta radiation turns to zero uh, it's never happened before. Uh, it's not supposed to be possible at all. Uh, I would have thought it was kind of a malfunction, but uh, as the light disappeared, it started to uh, uh, generate data again. Actually, it was generating data, but it was generating a zero, so it didn't measure anything. It's really strange, but interesting. Uh, this station has worked really well. Used it in Hestalen. Uh, a place in Valentina, of course, Gotland, and uh, it's my pride and joy, so to speak. Um, just wanted to show you that, and um, you're going to see more of this station in, uh, in future projects. Okay, that's about it. Take care now. Bye bye.